This video is sponsored by Karma. Hey guys, I'm Alexandra and welcome to season three of my rental reno. I've moved out of the treehouse and into my brand new two bedroom home. I'm gonna be making over this space start to finish, room by room. I'm so excited. Am my camera ready? Hi neighbor, don't worry. <laughs> new selfie spot. Cute! This has been a steep learning curve for me. Alexandra, you're failing. Let's get started. This is the very last space that Noah and I have to tackle in our new home. And if you've done any home reno or room makeover, you know that things add up quickly. That is why I love using Karma, which is a free app and Chrome extension that scours the internet for the hottest sales, deals, and coupon codes. All you do is download the Chrome extension and it applies coupons automatically when you check out. This feature is exclusive to the Karma Chrome extension. But not only does Karma save me money, it also notifies me when something that I love goes back in stock or goes on sale. So you can save it to your Karma Chrome extension and Karma will alert me by text or email. I also love that it has an organizing feature so you can organize products into wish lists if you're not yet ready to purchase them. So for this bathroom makeover, I was constantly finding things that I wanted to add into the bathroom. I saved them to my wish list, and then when I was ready to purchase, all the products were there, and Karma was ready to scour the internet for coupon codes. You can also earn Karma cash when shopping with select retailers. It's all free, you're saving money, you're earning Karma cash, what is better? If you wanna try Karma for yourself, check it out. It'll be linked down below in the description box. When Noah and I moved into this home, this was the space I was least excited to tackle. This black and white tile just like wasn't really my vibe and I didn't know how I was going to approach it. I actually took a pass at making over this space back in the summer and we never put it live on the channel because it just didn't feel finished. We're back, it's the winter now, some time has passed. I've had more time to sit on it, think about it and I'm tackling it again. Let's take it back. Let's go back in time. I'm doing this because I'm thinking it, the transition would be the brrr, you know? <laughs> no? I'm going all red. That was embarrassing. When I don't know, because I was like brrr. You've done that like a hundred times. Ugh, I wish it was the summer. It's like minus 18 right now, but let's, let's go back in time. Surprise! <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. It's day one of the makeover. I'm so excited, but I want to walk you through what it's looking like now. We've moved in. Obviously there's a few things in here, but come on in. So since we moved in, I put up a shower curtain liner. I'm going to put an actual fun shower curtain up today. I've also brought this plant in for my old place. This was in my kitchen. Part of me wanted to leave it there, but another part of me was like, I can't leave this plant. So I brought it with me. It's just kind of sitting up here. I have some of the leaves draping down into the shower. I think I want to hang some of them over here. But yeah, big plans for this plant, which doesn't have a name, but we love her. We have this black and white tile, which I don't hate, but would not be my first choice. And I'm really excited actually, because this is gonna be a challenge. I've hung up these wall sconces. I need to patch and paint above them, but these are so flippin' cool. I bought them on Etsy and they're way better than the like standard builder lights that came with this rectal. So much storage in here, like so much storage. I've just like filled cabinets with things. It makes me so happy. Also storage in here, like all my makeup is in these drawers. We also have this silver ladder, which I really like. I think it's a cool, interesting piece. It's a towel rack, so it's a place to store towels. The reality is, no shade to Noah. All the shade to Noah. Noah just kind of like tosses his, just tosses his towels over this rail and it doesn't look pretty. So we've actually taken the towels off the rail, put a hook on the back of the door, like one that goes over the door. And I'm thinking of just using this for hand towels, but I can't take it off the wall and I don't really want to because it came with the unit and our landlord put it in. And I understand his vision. It's just that when you live with a person I was gonna say a messy person. This is really bad. I'm just digging myself into a really deep hole. Um, if you live with a Noah, then you may know that keeping a ladder nice and tidy with towels isn't always the reality. Okay, that's all. 
This bathroom is also quite large. It feels like a room. So for the design, I really wanna make it feel that way, like an extension of the rest of our home. Today, we are just gonna focus on decorating it, adding personality in here. I will say that this bathroom feels quite cold and I wanna breathe some life into it. I wanna make it feel in a comfy, cozy room. Let's do it. First things first, we've taken the mirror off the wall. Alana's gonna spray paint it. Hot tip for you guys, if you have a mirror in a rental that works, like mine did, but just needs a little like upgrade, spray paint it. Super simple, takes like 10 minutes and you have a brand new mirror at the end of the day. We're using a matte black spray paint that has primer built into it. It's for metal and plastic and wood. It's for all different materials is my point. Make sure you're getting the right one. Instead of spending $300 on a new mirror, let's spend $5 spray painting it. Well, Lana's doing that. I'm just going to paint above these sconces. When we took the old lights down, it left a bit of a gap and this is old paint. So excited. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> just painting away. So happy. When I first saw this bathroom, I fell in love with how much storage there is and like this countertop. I just can't wait to put stuff on it and style it. But I wasn't sure about how I was going to make it like unique and custom. I'm not a huge fan of the silver and there's lots of silver accents in here, especially this ladder. So I knew I couldn't change them to gold. So I found these really cute leather knobs. These are from V to V. They were like $3 a knob, really, really inexpensive and affordable. I think this is a great way to upgrade a piece in your rental that needs a little love. Cute. So I did think about replacing the cabinet fronts on this cabinet, but Truthfully, that would have cost a lot of money, a lot of time, and this is a quick fix that I think makes a really big difference. Where are the sheeps? Why are you saying that? Because you said it looks like I'm about to churn some butter on a farm. Next up, I'm going to change out the shower curtain. Just an FYI, I did order a new black shower curtain rod from Wayfair. It was under $100. It has not arrived yet, but that's okay. We're gonna persevere. And I'm instead gonna add in new black shower rings. So two changes you can make to your bathroom that will make a really big difference if you can't make any structural changes are changing out your shower curtain and changing out the shower curtain rings. There are so many fun shower curtain rings that I found. A lot of them were gold, so I couldn't purchase any of them for this bathroom because there's a lot of silver going on. I will link some down below because there's so many fun ones out there. This is the old shower ring. This is the new one. Also the infamous pom-pom shower curtain. Noah actually really likes it. He's not here or else I would bring him in and be like, hey NMD, do you approve of the shower curtain? And he would say, yes. This shower curtain brings in so much texture. It's just fun, but still simple. You know, it's like a pop, but it's still kind of neutral. Hi. So. Noah, so, my beloved yeah. partner, um, beloved. There was a lot of controversy about the shower curtain. Mm -hmm. It's up and we would love to know what you think of it. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. I'm okay with it. I like the black and white. I'm not as sure about the tassely part. They're pom-poms, but I'll, let, I'll give that a pass. Thank you so much for being on this segment of Is It NMD Approved? Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm your host, Alexandra Gator. Bye. Bye. Now I'm going to string all of these beautiful leaves up on this wall. I did this in my old apartment with these exact hooks. They're just little command hooks and you literally just hook your plant the hook and they're not tight like they're not pressing down on the plant it just like literally rests in the hook and now suddenly this corner is filled with a beautiful plant do you guys remember this print she was in the treehouse bathroom and she is going right here name suggestions in the comments for this lovely lady and the lovely plant 
Okay, the mirror that Alana spray painted is dry. I'm gonna hang it up. Honestly, a little spray paint just breathed new life into this mirror and now everything matches. I love it. <laughs> Because it's such an open room and I want it to feel cozy and warm, I'm just gonna bring in tons of greenery. I think that's the solve. I'm bringing in this really cute little stool. I got this from Target when we moved in. I was like, I need a stool beside the bathtub so I can light a candle, have my bath salts going. So when I took a bath, it would just be like a spa-like experience. I have the luxury of having so much flow storage in this bathroom, which is just a treat because in my last bathroom, in the Treehouse bathroom, I moved in to that apartment and there was zero clothes storage in that entire bathroom. So if you missed that video where I made over that bathroom and found solutions for the no storage problem, the link will be right here. And hopefully that'll give you some ideas of how to hide all of your bathroom necessities if you have no storage. For now, Alana and I are just gonna begin styling, putting all the things I love on display. This is a process. You're gonna have to step back, you're gonna have to place things, remove things, so enjoy this time-lapse footage of us just having fun and styling. Hi guys, it is day two. I thought we were gonna end this bathroom makeover yesterday, but I took a step back and there was a couple things I wanted to add to the space. First thing being this beautiful ceiling light. This came from my old bathroom. I love it so much. Makes this bathroom feel even more filled with personality and character. Another thing that I thought last night that I had to change, this is at like 9 p.m., the blind situation over here. So we leave the blinds up at all times. It's just like trees outside. No one can see in. It's high enough up that no one can see into our bathroom. I was standing here, my landlord was over, Brian, and he had the most mind-blowing, genius idea to hack a Roman shade. So I think, I think <laughs> I can do this. I don't think so. I've kind of come up with some sort of concept, so I didn't know this, but if you have blinds like I do, the cover going over the blinds actually pops out. So I'm thinking if I take this linen pillowcase, use double-sided carpet tape to wrap it around that bracket, and then use pins to like ruche it a little bit so it looks like Roman shades. I think it could look really freaking cool. I think that turned out okay. No, no, I don't think so. Considering I just used carpet tape and some pins, it looks okay. I think it's a good solve for now. Okay, I'm not suggesting to use a rug as a bath mat. There are tons of decor stores that sell long runner sized bath mats that are made to look like rugs. I'll link some down below, but this rug is small enough that it gives me room to actually have a bath mat in here as well. So I finished it, we shot the afters. I don't know, it didn't feel right to me. We didn't tackle the backsplash by the sink. That Roman shade wasn't working for me. And I just felt like things were still disjointed and not really working together. This was like a band-aid decor fix, but I really wanna overhaul this space. So here we are, it is now the winter time and we're gonna try this again. Good morning, friends. So the first part of this video was very much like small renter-friendly changes you can make to your bathroom. And the next part, this part, is gonna be more of those like more involved things you can do to your bathroom on a budget to just make it feel elevated. So we've got a couple hacks coming your way today. The first one being, we are going to fix this backsplash tile. Let me show you. So you probably saw this in the before. I have some of the kitchen tile left. Tiling over backsplash tile is something I didn't know you could do. But after we did our kitchen reno and Gabe came over to um, tile the whole kitchen, he showed me how you can actually tile over existing tile. This is such a small area and I didn't want to start like ripping up the wall. This is a rental after all. It's just gonna be like a really cost-effective but impactful way to transform this bathroom. We got a lot to accomplish over the next two days, so let's do it. 
Do you want to use special paint over the existing tile so that your new tile adheres really well to it? So I am painting two layers of this paint. While we're waiting for it to dry, Gabe is going to start cutting tiles. You want to like give me a wrap up, like a thumbs up? I'm so excited about using this leftover tile from the kitchen. It's so beautiful. We had a box left over. I didn't know what to do with it. And it's gonna be a nice nod to the kitchen. So I am just adding mortar to each tile, sticking it on the backsplash, <laughs> sticking it on the... Oh. And I'm just sticking it on the backsplash. It looks like you're icing a little cake and then just sticking it on. That's how simple it is. The hardest part is cutting the tiles, which I do. Honestly, like tiling is actually pretty simple, especially when it's such a small space like this. Instead of laying these tiles horizontally, I'm actually laying them vertically just to change it up a bit. And I just love this tile so much. It's textured, it's a little bit different than a subway tile. It's beautiful. I don't know what else to say other than it's beautiful. How are you feeling about today, Claudie? That good, eh? So now that the tiles are dry, I am grouting. I'm using a spackle knife to put the grout on my float tool and I'm just getting it between the tiles and then wiping it off with a sponge. Like I said, pretty easy peasy. So I was not going to touch this silver ladder, but Noah and I found that it really stuck out a lot. And I don't know, there's something just kind of not working for us. We have saved it. Brian and Tyler, if you're watching this video, you might wanna use it in the basement apartment. So I'm actually going to DIY one. I saw this inspo photo on Pinterest. I'm gonna link the blog down below. She walks through exactly what materials she used and what size of everything. So if you wanna do this DIY, I will link that blog post down below. But here's how we're gonna make it. So we got two different sizes of dowels. All the measurements are linked in that blog post that I mentioned. And the first thing we're gonna do is measure them and cut them to size. Got it. To give this ladder a tapered look, we're cutting the bars of the ladder down to different sizes. So it kind of like goes out like this. Okay, that was really good. Thank you so much. I know. <laughs> we are cutting the legs to 72 inches. So that's the height of the ladder. I'd say it was the best one yet. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we're using a drill press to make a shallow indent on the legs. This is so fun. <laughs> we're gonna wood glue in the dowels, clamp the ladder until it dries. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. Oh, I'm laughing at this. That's okay. You can laugh at me. I, Everyone I, I, else does. So. <laughs> we did it. Well, you did it, but yay! <laughs> that looks great. It looks awesome. Then, once it's dried, we are just sanding it down and staining the whole thing black to pull out all of those black accents that we have going on in the bathroom, all in a morning's work. DIY ladder, a tiling job, no problem. Next up, we are gonna switch out the legs on this cabinet to these fancy, these fancy ones. These are from Pretty Pegs, which is a store that sells things exclusively to hack your Ikea furniture, which is so fun. And I've wanted to change these legs for a while. Now, it's a bit more tricky than your average like sofa because we have to actually get under the unit, take the existing leg off, screw in the new leg, but we have to use a special tool. I'll show you the whole process. Normally, this would be kind of like a quick fix, a quick change, but since the cabinets are mounted to the wall and we can't take the cabinets off, it's a, it's a bit tricky, but definitely doable. So this tool is a flexible driver, which I'm attaching to the drill and it allows me to get into these really tricky spots. We literally just like shimmied the legs under there, screwed them into the existing holes that were there from the other legs. And suddenly we have a brand new cabinet. And then we have this little guy because there's a bit of a space. We're gonna slide it under. I've kept the legs and the knobs in a box. Bri Tai, if you're watching, don't worry. I still have them. Though like, who wants to change these legs now? They're beautiful. 
Now we are going to change the sink faucet. Now this is definitely something you want to hire a contractor for unless you're super handy and can do it yourself. So I feel like you might not think about changing your faucet out, but it can make such a drastic difference. And if you have a little bit of extra budget for your rental, swapping a faucet out for something gold or matte black can really have an impact in a space. So because we are carrying all of these black accents through here, I thought it was only fitting that we replace this sink with a black one. So we just went to the hardware store, got one for under $200, and Graham is going to help me change it. Okay, some afternoon drama. We're missing a part for the sink. So Graham's putting the old one back, which is really sad, because that black one was just sleek. And we're returning it and then installing it tomorrow. In the meantime, before the day is over, I wanna try and get the wooden mirror on the wall and see how it looks. We might change the mirror. <laughs> Even though in part one we spray painted it. The only thing is it's like the only natural wood tone in the whole space. So after Graham reinstalls the old sink, we're gonna hang it and see. How frustrated are you on a scale of one to 10? Uh, 6.5. <laughs> okay, I thought it would be more. It's an easy fix. That's the spirit. I kind of think it's the move to switch the mirror. Yeah, yeah, because we'll have the black faucet. It'll be way too much black, I think, if we keep this round mirror. Okay, but like the selfies though, I could take in this mirror. <laughs> day two. Day two. What? <laughs> Graham saved the day. He got a new faucet and checked that all the parts. We're in the box. Also, we're matching, Graham. I swear I didn't do that intentionally. I didn't know you were wearing that shirt. Next time we have to coordinate. You did. Well, we did though. <laughs> I'm the plumber, clearly. It's my show. <laughs> like. Let me just. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yay. I'm plumbing. It's like a filming at kids show. We yell yay everywhere. <laughs> Before there was like silver, black, white. It was just a mismatch of materials and color, but now suddenly everything feels really uniform. Noah last night was like, I really like the new mirror because it's so big, but I hate the little balls around it. They're not coming off anytime soon, so. I hate the little balls. I hate the little balls around it. I plumbed today. Get it? I plumbed. Okay, I was a plumber. Okay. It looks so, so good. It's truly like these small changes can just make such a big difference, you know? Chef's kiss. I have also kept the old faucet. <laughs> so that Bri Tai, my landlords, Brian and Tyler, we call them Bri Tai, are actually redoing the basement suite in this house. And they've used a lot of the things that we've kind of like passed down to them. I've given them some furniture, the tile that we use in the kitchen and now in the bathroom, we had another box left and they've used that for the kitchen. Even just having a conversation with your landlords about this, you might find that they're actually very much willing for you to make these changes. You know, a gold faucet or a matte black faucet just feels so much more luxe in a space and like, what landlord's gonna say no to that? Maybe some, but not Bri Tai, because they're the best. The next thing we're gonna change is the curtain rod. Again, I think it's like these little changes that are really gonna pull the space together. What do you think? Let's do this. The first thing I'm gonna do is take off the shower curtain. Okay, I'm gonna get in the shower, you ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. No, I will not help. <laughs> okay. It's wet in here. I'm gonna slip and slide. Okay. Oh. oh. oh that is a surprise. Oh my god. Uh, what the actual? <laughs> Wowza. Graham, is that like a problem? The hole? Yeah. Oh, patch it. Okay. You can see my, my, my. Do you want another one? Do, do, do. 
Do 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 do. Oh yeah, baby, baby. Sorry. Okay, let's see. It looks so good. It's like such a subtle change, but it just looks way more complete like this. Yay! So in part one, I changed the knobs to leather knobs. Love them so much, but they're not really going with the vibe now that we have so many black accents in here. So I'm gonna put these on, and I feel like the wood ties in with the wood of the mirror. I'm just gonna make it feel a bit lighter in here. So you guys saw the ladder Graham and I DIY'd yesterday. Super excited to get that in here. We just feel that this closes off the bathroom. Like you don't see the mirror when you walk in. It just kind of like blocks the whole space. We do use these clean towels when we have guests or like when we need clean towels. So I have this hamper from SoCo Annex that I purchased a while ago. I think it ties in really nicely with the natural wood mirror. And I'm just gonna roll up the towels like hotel style pop them in here, and then we're gonna bring in the ladder Graham and I DIY'd yesterday, and that's gonna hold our hand towel. Wow, that was like way easier than I thought it was gonna be. Yep, it just looks so good. Do we love or do we love? Yeah. The next thing I'm going to do is change out this blind for a Roman shade. For like an actual Roman shade, not like? Yeah, not like a, not like a pillowcase Roman shade, like an actual Roman shade. Nice! The best thing about getting a custom blind like this is that you can pick the fabric, the colors, the patterns. We went for a blackout Roman shade so no one can see into our window. Again, so much more personalized and stylish than your simple shade. <laughs> like the, the accordion shade, you know? Blinds? Blinds, that's what I was, that's the word. <laughs> it's like, Way better than blinds, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, like, how pretty is this, though? I feel like I just got transported to Rome. Thank you guys so much. Tell me again that you think it's pretty. Well, I haven't been able to step back, but I love it so far. I just, I'm holding it here because we need the little... Can you pass me the little... Oh, it's right here. We're almost there. I'm adding in this hand soap pump. I feel like it gives this bathroom a luxe hotel feel. You wanna see the magic happen, Carla? Cause it's happening now. I was hoping you could say it less aggressive. This is $30, I think, for this gold bracket. I'm using an amber apothecary bottle and suddenly our sink is so freed up and it feels like we're in a hotel. Like, beauty! Wash my hands, wash my hands. Oh no, we need a hand towel. No problem, because we're getting into the finishing touches. If you guys wanna check out Karma and save some money, make sure you check out the link in my description box. So sad that my rental reno season three has come to an end. That just means that we have to move. We're not moving, we're not. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.